Sophie's Reflective, take one. I focused on two main aspects for this portfolio. The first, I developed an argument and conducted primary research that pointed towards a Web 2.0 skills gap in the PR industry. I then made recommendations to solve this problem. This was the first piece of research of its kind on the Kemp website, proving it to be original. The second, I focused on online brand advocacy and conducted my own advocacy campaign. The primary research led to interesting findings and that contributed to my post, so in itself was original. I have drawn on academic research covering many aspects of online interactive media. I have researched and analysed general online theories such as the long tail, online crisis communications, online word of mouth, advocacy, influentials and consumer culture and behaviour. Additionally, I have experienced how to run an effective online advocacy campaign. Much of my learning arose when utilising online tools when advocating my chosen charity, Palanga Temba. Ultimately, I did achieve a successful outcome as it led to key connections that, made, may, that will help the charity in the long term. A member of my network forwarded the Palanga Temba video and information to the Mayor of I in the town I live in, in back home. The mayor then sent the link to a number of businessmen and women he is associated with. As a result, the Disrotary Club replied and they want me to present my mission story. I will present to the club at a lunchtime meeting in Easter. They have strong connections with Africa and are interested in helping the charity. Therefore, I learnt that word of mouth and third party credible endorsement can successfully be utilised online to increase awareness and to influence effectively. My study confirmed that charitable organisations should utilise advocacy campaigns, however it should be integrated into the whole marketing mix. Not-for-profit organisations need PR because people are wary when it comes to donating money. The public need reassurance that their donated money is going to be spent wisely, therefore PR will, be not, will not be eradicated as I suggested in evidence post 4. To sum up, my understanding of interactive media has grown significantly during my process during the process of this year, and I trust I have been able to demonstrate this.